Hey everybody, this is Rector from Rector Nation, returning with a new game. By the way, how are you doing today? Let me know down below. Today we're going to check out Calunio's Therapist Mind Manager. This game was recommended to me by a subscriber. A Nico K04 recommended this for me. And he also included a couple of tips for when I first play the game that I'm going to go ahead and follow. Now, I can't guarantee that I'm going to make a playthrough of this, but I will definitely give it a shot. Thanks for the recommendation, Nico. Let's get started. By the way, I do have a tea with me. A uh, English breakfast tea. All right, we got mature, adult themes, strong language, mental illness, sexual violence. It's okay. Now, I couldn't get this game to run under game capture, so I had to settle for window capture. I'm not sure if that'll affect things. I hope it doesn't. But you never know. Monsters are real and ghosts are real too. They live inside us and sometimes they win. Stephen King. One of my most favorite offers. I just read his... Or no, I didn't read it. I uh, watched his Doctor Sleep movie. That was pretty good. A lot of references back to The Shining. Please, stop. You want me to stop? Yes, I'm feeling weird. This is for your own good. So why am I feeling so bad? Everything in my body is telling me to stop. I, I just can't. I'm gonna turn down the volume a bit. That's what you came here for, isn't it? Why you came to me? Yes. No. I came here to feel better, but all you do is ask me hard questions. Make me remember things I don't want to. Make me feel things I don't want to. What's the point? It is standard procedure. I'm trying to help you not feel these things anymore. But I can't do it unless we talk about them. But we've been doing it for months. How long is it supposed to take? Well, I... I'm sorry. I have to go. Miss Holloway looks like she's, like, melding with the background there. Miss Tuesday just left. Is something wrong? She looked disgruntled. She paid for today's session and didn't even say goodbye. I got some more money. It's all right. Therapy is not an easy process. Dealing with one's inner conflicts can be challenging. Gladly, not my challenge. She also told me to cancel her future appointments. Rip. <laughs> That's a shame. I'll have to find a new Tuesday. Oh my god. My ears. What's with these alien invader type effects? Like, these are super old school. Miss Holloway, I guess you will. The rest of your schedule is full, though. Don't forget your sessions are scheduled for uh, at... That would be 2 p.m. Uh, office opens at 1 p.m., so you might want to get in early just in case. I'll keep that in mind. Goodbye, Miss Holloway. Before you go, Dr. Klein is expecting you in her office. She had that look. I'll go talk to her. Good luck. See you tomorrow. The therapist looks like he's about ready to give up on life.
Mind Matters Psychological Consulting Office. You wanted to see me? Yes, I did. Tell me. How do you like working in this office so far? It has been a great opportunity for me, and I really appreciate it. This office is the biggest reference in psycho psychological services, and working here is an honor for any therapist. Good answer. I see. As your supervisor, my duty is to make sure your work is up to the standards that make this place a reference. I understand. Do you believe it is? What is? Do you believe your work is up to our standards? I just recently got my license. I'm not presumptuous enough to say it is, but I am a fast worker and I am a fast learner and a diligent worker. I believe that's why you hired me. If I'm not there yet, I'll climb up to those standards faster than a hypochondriac Googles his symptoms. Delightful word crafting as always. Thank you for reminding me why I hired you. Still, we cannot afford to let go unsatisfied patients like we did today. News travels fast. As your supervisor, I'm here to help you, but also to keep a close eye on your work. Would you give me some general pointers? I expect nothing less. Give me some pointers. Pay close attention, for I am not keen on repeating myself. Conducting a therapy session is not one task, but various tasks condensed into one. First and foremost, establish a bond of trust with your patient. He needs to know that you are there for him, that you care. You will accomplish that by acting professionally. For starters, punctuality. Don't be late to your sessions. Your patient will not like it, even if he doesn't say anything. If you are too late, he might even leave and never come back. You mean like what happened today? Your body posture is everything. You must pay attention not only to your patient, but to yourself. Sometimes you may inadvertently lose your posture. That is more likely to happen if you are tired, anxious, or in a bad mood, so make sure you are in your best self when you come to work. If you do lose your posture, just make sure to you recompose as quickly as you can. Press A to recompose immediately after you lose posture. Okay. Your patient needs to feel comprehended. Not only you need to understand what he's saying, but you must express that understanding clearly and empathetically. No matter how unusual or seemingly pathological his thoughts, actions, and feelings are, always validate them. Show him that they make sense within the context of his experience. Finally, you need to intervene. There are an infinite number of interventional approaches in psychology, but of course you will work with the ones you are most familiar with. Pay attention to what your patient tells you in order to choose the best intervention approach for that session. Some will be more suitable than others. Some may be completely pointless.
Jeez, she's giving me the whole manual on this. Should I be writing any of this down? Uh, God, okay. Uh, choosing an intervention approach is the only the first step. Figuring out how to apply that line of intervention to the issues at hand is the next. Think before you do. That is, when your skills as a therapist are genuinely tested. Press the space button to stop the semicircles one at a time, attempting to form a full circle. The more you master an approach, the easier it will be to form your thoughts when coming up with an intervention. For that reason, make studying a part of your daily habits. The library should be your second home. I mean, third. You are in your second home right now. I want you to come talk to me every Tuesday after work so we can discuss your progress. I feel like she's my therapist. In four weeks' time, if I deem your climb to be successful, I'll open up more room in your schedule and send you more patients, giving you greater stability in this office. And more economical stabi stability, I guess. Oh, that's a good tea, man. That's a good tea. That is what I'm aiming for. If, however, the dissatisfaction of your patients proves to be a pattern, I'm going to have to let you go. No! My anxiety! One doesn't make a pattern. It won't happen again. I'm gonna go get my bottle of water. I'll be right back. I am back. I'm betting on that. Speaking of bet, one of the patients I booked for you is my niece. She's starting therapy next Monday. Awesome. I'll make sure to fuck her up really good. <laughs> I'll be keeping a close eye on it. Closer. Thank you for your trust. It is like a crystal vase. I'll see you next week. Goodbye, Dr. Klein. Bye-bye. Driver, good afternoon. Where are you going today? I have a date with my girlfriend later. I can't forget it. I do have some free time until then. Let's see. Park, library, home, drugstore, office. I got a lot of money, so I mean, that's not a problem. I'm gonna do what Nico suggested and go to the park to meditate. some time with nature yes it's twenty dollars for the ride cool cool fasten your seatbelt you got it exercise meditate wait a bit here right out let's meditate Stamina's went down to. It's gonna meditate again. We're just gonna meditate a crap ton here. You can never meditate too much. Yeah, 
Yeah, get all that anxiety down. We don't want none of that anxiety. I'm gonna meditate one more time. Hey! What's going on, gorgeous? You got some nice looking pixels there. I'm sorry to bother you, but were you meditating just now? Yes, I was. Okay, nice. I started an online meditation course this week, but I haven't got myself to practice yet. Busy, busy. So much to learn, so little time. I know what you mean. Well, it's not hard, but doing it right demands practice, much like anything else. Yes, good. Thanks. My name is Lorena, by the way. I'm a personality coach certified by the Trans-Pacific Coaching Institute. Please, have a seat. Personality coach, what does it do? Personality coach is a professional chain to analyze your behavioral and cognitive patterns and develop strategies to guide important life decisions based on your intrinsic motivations and affinities. I see. Something like a psychotherapist, then. Oh, no. Not at all. Therapists base their work on the writings of old and obsolete authors and use the same methods and techniques for every patient. How dare you, Lorena? How dare you insult me in this manner? The work of a personality coach is uniquely tailored to each client's patterns and tendencies. Furthermore, you don't need to have mental disorders to hire a personality coach. Anyone can benefit from coaching. It's amazing! Being a therapist myself, I'm afraid I have to flag your misconceptions about psychotherapy as tragically misinformed. Got her. You're a, uh, oh my god, I'm so, so sorry. I meant no offense, I swear. I botched my introduction, didn't I? Yeah, you did. It's fine. I've heard worse. Tell you what, I really need to go now, but I'd love to continue this conversation and make it up to you. You can tell me a bit more about therapy and meditation. I could tell you about personality coaching. How does that sound? Sounds like a date. Yes, okay, amazing. I'm giving you my number so we can arrange the details. Bye, take care, see you soon. I hate when people say three different things to just, you know, mean they say bye. <laughs> bye, see you soon, farewell, have a good one. Like, I get it. You're, you're leaving. You don't need to tell me five million ways. Alright, so we got a new patient, which is nice. It's nighttime, so let's get out of here. Let's take a ride out. Uh, let's go home. Let's go. Does this guy have to take a taxi every time? Can't he just get a car? Oh, 
you know what? With that kind of apartment, I don't think you could afford a car. I guess therapy doesn't pay well. Check phone. Uh, I think that was one of the suggestions. Yeah, okay, let's check the phone. It looks like it's the latest iPhone. Message app, social app, put the phone away. We're going to do message app. One and unread messages. Read all the messages. Darlene, meet me at the Blue Cafe at 2100. We need to talk. Don't worry. It's nothing bad. Love you big time. All right, as long as it's not bad. Let's send a message. All right, now Nico says to send a message to everybody in the phone as soon as you get to your bedroom, so that's what I'm going to do. Hello, my friend. Let's meet and ramble like there's no tomorrow. When are you free? Sent. Amos, okay, so we got Amos. Let's send it to Darlene. I think Darlene's his lover. I have nothing to speak to Darlene at the moment. Okay. All right, don't talk to her then. I have nothing to speak to mom at the moment. Okay. Victor, what about Victor? How have you been? Is everything going well in your sessions? Any exciting cases? We should meet. Sent. How's it going? Let's hang out. Let's send that. All right, now Lorena. Our first encounter was far too brief. I would like to know more about you and what you do. When can we meet again? All right, so I just sent a message to everybody I could. And uh, the last thing that Nico suggests is to touch the letter G in my room. The letter G. I guess that's not on my phone. Masturbate? <laughs> what? Why is that an option? <laughs> the fuck? Uh, I keep the dialogue sounds on, I guess. I mean, there's no other sounds. Music on, graphics, full screen as well. Cheat mode disabled. The game keep playing. The letter G. Oh. Ooh. Just stretching here. Uh, but I don't see a letter G. Yeah, I don't see a G. Maybe like up here? This? I don't know. I mean, there's no touch the letter G. Oh, wait, you mean on my keyboard? I press G and it's like, okay, send me out. Wait, what? That's a gun. What the f- You can commit suicide? You can shoot yourself in this game. You can actually do it. That's an option. Do it. And the game just closed. <laughs> what the fuck was that? What the actual hell has just happened? Um, I don't know. Let me just get that loaded back up again. We're going to bring it to a close here, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, attack helicopters and dumpster trucks, whatever you identify as out there. This was Colonio's Therapist Mind Manager. A quite a weird game. One where you can masturbate and also commit suicide. Yeah.
I mean, I thought it was decent. I'm not sure if it's a game that um, would hold my attention for long periods of time. I'm not really into visual novels. But I'm glad it gives you a lot of options. Like committing suicide or masturbating. But anyway, thanks for the suggestion, Nico. I'm not sure if I'll continue this, but um, thanks for recommending it. It was awesome giving it a try. Let me know if you have any more suggestions, and I'll take a look at them. All right. This is Rector from Rector Nation. Thank you all for watching. If you liked the video, go ahead and like it down below. And as always, I hope you have a good time. I'll see you later, peeps. We'll <laughs>